So you sort of seem to be, in a way, it reminds me of like the 19th century and the amateur science movement. Is part yeah. of your sort of avocation to find more people like yourself? Absolutely. I mean, there's just something exciting and and um, and romantic about about making science happen. It is important to make DIY bio accessible and approachable for people so that they feel like they can they can explore it a little bit. I think I think it makes it more exciting for everybody. Hi guys. Welcome to South by Southwest. Woo! First day. I'm glad you found this meetup up here. People have a lot of like like fanciful notions of what synthetic biology can do and I think that they believe it can happen now, you know, which isn't necessarily the case. We're doing our own sort of like kitchen sink testing like Darwin did right now. It also reminds me of Frankenstein and Mary Shelley. That's something that, that keeps popping up too these days. I mean, there was just a movie that came out, I Frankenstein, which was terrible, but I, but I think that the analogy is, is very relevant right now. I think people are, are terrified of, of um, what um, genetics and biotechnology is gonna do, but I think People are a lot more scared than they should be. I think there are a lot of beneficial things that can happen from, from it. Biohacking is science that happens in non-traditional places. And I guess with people who are, are not traditional scientists, not trained as scientists, which would include myself. <laughs> so... I was a painter, or I am a painter, and um, using living beings to create images is something that's very exciting to me. I like to tinker with E. coli bacteria. Um, it just has a very simple genetic makeup. E. coli is what lives in our guts as humans, so it's not, it's not a bacteria that we're not biologically familiar with. So there are all kinds of things that you can do with, with E. coli. You can um, make it fluorescent. There's um, a, a jellyfish called a crystal jellyfish, and you can splice that DNA into, um, into bacteria and make it glow. But you can also um, make it smell like bananas if you um, insert a certain um, pathway from a yeast into bacteria. So it seems to me like on a certain level, your job is to be an evangelist for this variety of hacking. Well, I mean, I, I think that the way I like to think of it is that I think that um, it's it's interesting for people to people like myself to help um, scientists communicate that that biohacking is not as scary as it sounds. It's actually quite fun. I, I do think that um, the advent of um, technology and personal computing is very much related to the advent of biohacking and DIY bio. I think that what needs to evolve now is um, is kits for people who don't have scientific backgrounds, you know, and I, I, I think that's happening, but I believe that's the next step because there is a, a huge barrier to, um, to interaction for people who aren't um, trained scientists. But I do think, I think it's coming. I think we'll be able to get kids to test ourselves for genes or for diseases or, you know, things like that in the future. We're at the point now where we have to admit to ourselves that it's a technology that is, is not going to evaporate. I think it's not going to go away. It's not a fad. Um, so. Thank you.